Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. I really look forward to Fridays now. Fridays are the days when I go into silence and when I am fasting. And uh, I'm just really, really excited about that. So today, what I thought I would do is I'm going to invite somebody to come up that wants to have an Akashic record reading. And I'm going to offer, um, a, you know, a version of, not a version, but a, just a a brief Akashic record reading so you guys can see what that's like, how it's done, the wisdom that comes forth. Um, there are different ways that people can read the Akashic records. Some people read the records and they have an experience of seeing the information. Some people hear the information. Some people just know the information and, hey Carol, and some people um, feel the information. Um, Aw, I'm having so much fun with it. I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it. Um, and then there are people that channel the information. Hey, Vanessa. Hi, sweet woman. So in channeling the information, what happens is it's not me. It's not Lynn and all my Lynnness. You know, it's not my dazzling personality. I'm channeling and bringing forth the masters, teachers, and loved ones and the lords of the Akashic Records. So it's going to be some very specific information. Um, it's... It comes from, you know, I, I would say that the, the Akashic Records are like the spiritual cloud, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, but it's an incredible resource. Asking questions like, why do I feel this way? Why do I have this relationship? Why do I have this condition? Why do I have this feeling? Those why questions tend to go deeper than just, you know, yes or no questions. And I don't use the Akashic Records as a crystal ball. So it's not like, when am I going to meet my... Um, when am I going to meet my twin flame? Because they're going to tell you that you're in a relationship with your twin flame across probably 17 lifetimes. So you have to be careful. Like time and space takes on a very different meaning when you're in the Akashic Records. Um, but it's it's really, really fun. So the uh, let's see, on Monday we did um, some psychic surgery. Wednesday we did some psychic surgery. And I want to thank the people that volunteered. Uh, yes, so Priyanka, um, my right-hand girl, she's saying... If you agree to volunteer, please be willing to let us share this on the Soma Life YouTube channel. Um, we had somebody on Monday, and it was an amazing session, but uh, Priyanka said, oh, we forgot to ask her. And when we asked her, she said she didn't feel comfortable with us sharing the information. So we're putting the disclaimer out that if this is something that you're here for, and if you're willing to allow me to go in and read your Akashic Records, which I am really excited about doing, that um, we ask that you would also grant us permission to be able to go ahead and post it on the Soma Life um, YouTube channel. So the Soma Life YouTube channel now has over a thousand videos. It's me in the past couple of years doing everything from leading guided meditations to channeling, I don't know, there's probably a dozen different beings that I have channeled, um, to classes that I've been teaching, a whole series called Soma Life Sundays that my uh, dear friend Rob Scarpa and I did together. Um, hi, Mary. Aw, so good to see you guys. Um, and let's see, what else? Um, it's videos of me just talking about what I've been doing, kind of my growth and my journey. And, you know, right now I'm in the middle of this kind of raw vegan um, process, spending time in silence, really giving up my ego. I have a whole group and we meet in the mornings and we would meet in the mornings at about 9 a.m. And sometimes we would go till 11 or 12, even 1230 or one o'clock. And someone said, I just found that I was burned out. We've done it for about a year. We've been studying uh, the way of mastery and um, this incredible series of books, the way of mastery, uh, which was written by a man named J.M. Hammer, who channeled Jesus back in the early 80s. Anyway, um, so I just found myself frustrated with how much time we're putting in. Um, one of my love languages, one of my highest love languages is quality time. But I found that it just didn't feel like quality to me anymore. So we've put guidelines around it. Now the platform is only an hour and a half. We come in and we specifically meditate at this time and talk at that time. Hi, Matanya. Oh my God, you guys. Matanya is this extraordinary, extraordinary artist. And I have some of her art in my home. She has, uh, through some crazy, extraordinary soul contract, she has um, painted the the God, the the higher beings, the ascended beings that I've been channeling. So the first painting that she did that I saw 
was of Mary Magdalene. Oh my God, extraordinary. And then she was doing another painting and I'm like, that's Mary Magdalene. Oh, Hathor was the first one I saw. And, that, and then Mary Magdalene. And then I just commissioned her to do a painting of Jesus that is stunning. And it's being shipped to me here in America. She's out in the Netherlands. So, but Tanya, thank you for that, baby. I love you and I can't wait to get that. I'm going to, on the entry to my bedroom, I have these two empty walls. It's so funny. I have like 50 pieces of art hanging, but I was told to leave these two walls blank. And it's because um, Jesus, Yeshua is going to be on one side and Magdalene's going to be on the other. Um, so just really exciting stuff. So is there anybody that would like to volunteer to have me read their Akashic records? We'll do this really quickly. I'll go in, I'll open your records. You can ask a question. You guys will get to see the process of what it's like for me to do some channeling. Um, uh, Vanessa, yay! Okay, Vanessa, request to join me live. Oh, I'm really glad. This will be so much fun. Um, all right, you know what, you guys? I think I have enough time. I'll do both of you. So, Vanessa, let me do you first. And uh, and then Matanya will do you next. All right, so, um, Vanessa, you have to make a request to go live with me. Okay, babe. Um, let's see. Carol, I'm gonna do this again. I want you to I want you to come back another time. Oh, and there's Rob. Hi, Rob. Rob, I'm gonna do a live Akashic record reading today. I'm really, really excited. Guys, I had the most incredible experience this morning. There's a woman out of England. Her name is uh, Jabeen, J-A-B-E-E-N, and she channels Archangel Raphael. And for a half an hour, she charges $45, 45 British pounds, which is like crazy. And she did this incredible reading and this healing. Oh my God, went right into it. Um, babe, there's a little, there's two little characters, like a, a person and a person. Um, oh, you're not available to add. Huh. All right, let's see. The people that I can add right now, the only people that are available, guest requests. Okay. Huh. I don't know how to do it. Matanya, can you, can you see it? Oh, I'd love to be able to add you guys. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, there we go. Here's Vanessa. Okay. Adding Vanessa. Okay. Beautiful. This is going to do as I get someone's full legal name. So ladies, that's not the name on your birth certificate. Hi. It's the one. Hi, baby. How are you? So good. So I need your full legal name, like how sure. you would sign a legal Vanessa? document. Um, I guess the full middle name, Maria. Maria? Meyer. Okay. Very good. So the, here's how it goes. There's a prayer that I say. Part of it is allowed and part of it is silent. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up her records and I'll announce the records are now open. So what I will ask you to do at this point is to come forth with a question you would like to ask of the masters, teachers, loved ones, lords of your Akashic oh, records. No, I, you I ready? I have a question, but I'm going to figure it out. Let's see. You will, you will. I'm sure it'll come through. All right, here we go. And so we do acknowledge the forces of light, asking for guidance, direction, and courage to know the truth as it is revealed for our highest good and the highest good of everyone connected to us. O oh, Holy Spirit of God, Help me to know Vanessa in the light of the Akashic record, to see Vanessa through the eyes of the Lords of the records and enable me to share the wisdom and compassion that the masters, teachers, and loved ones of Vanessa have for her. Mm. The records are now open. Greetings, beloved. Mm. Beloved, it is our delight to be with you. How may we be of assistance? I'm a little torn between asking about our current situation moving um, or thinking back into the past. 
So, dear Lords, I'm looking to find clarity on how I can role as a leader community and a healer. Beloved, we would ask that you repeat your question. This transmission is somewhat be spotty. I think I'm going to change my question. Okay. Dear mm. Lords, I'm, I'm looking for clarity on why, um, what was my role in uh, probably different timelines on healing community? Mm -hmm. Beloveds, what becomes apparent is the ways in which you used the art of manifestation in incarnations that you held within the land that is now known as Egypt, where you were able to look upon the soul blueprint, if you will, of a being, and you were able to see where it is that they had allowed their thinking to interrupt what nature had given to them, what God had given to them what creation itself had given to them, and they had allowed themselves to believe that they were other than they truly were. And you hold within you the capacity to see the truth of a being and to remind them of what is actually present within them rather than the cascade of thoughts and beliefs and emotions and decisions that they have made through the many cycles of incarnation that have allowed them to seem to be outside of themselves. You have the capacity, beloved, through your healing modalities to bring one back to the true essence of their soul. You have the ability, you have the capacity to align them with their higher self, with their sense of what could be considered Holy Spirit. It is ability that you have where you can teach them to once again be in communication. It is as if their dial, their frequency, beloveds, has been seven or eight degrees off of where true north is for them. And you have a capacity to bring them back to a vertical alignment, if you will, that will allow them to once again be able to hear the truth of them, to be able to know the truth of themselves. This is a gift that you have possessed. This is a gift that has been honed by you. This is one that you have used through many, many incarnations. This is the best and highest use of what it is that has been granted to you. It begins with your capacity to see the truth of one and then to align them to that truth within their own mm, consciousness, we will say. Does this resonate so with much. you, beloved? Indeed. Indeed. Beloved, we would also say that we do see that there is a move that is impending for you. And we would like to say that have faith that spirit is leading you where you need to be guided. It will go well for you. Thank you. Indeed. Beloved, let your heart be at rest. Let your heart know that all the guidance that you would gladly give to others is provided for you and with you always, dear one. You are present to us. We are with you always. We love you and we will speak with you again. Thank you so much. This transmission is complete. I'm going to say my closing prayer. I would like to thank the masters, teachers, and loved ones for their love and compassion. I would like to thank the lords of the Akashic Records for their point of view. And I would like to thank the Holy Spirit of Light for all knowledge and healing. The records are now closed. Amen. The records are now closed. Amen. The records are now closed. Amen. <laughs> always emotional <laughs> it's always emotional. it happens it happens baby thank you so much for coming i love and you. joining me i love you see that you're going on <laughs> it's how how delightful how delightful all right i'm gonna jump all right
soon. Okay, bye, honey. Okay, well, thank you all so much. That was really fun. Uh, let's see, Carol Plato, are you still here, my love? I know that both of your hands went up at the same time. Hi, Hannah. How fun to have you here. Um, all right, let's see. I don't know if Carol is still here. All right, Matanya, are you still here? Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Okay, Carol. Carol, are you willing to come online? And have a reading. Let's see. Okay. All right. Great. So I need Matanya and Carol. I need both of you to make a request to be added. All right. Carol's first. So I'm going to do Carol and then Matanya, I'll come back for you. Oh my God. This is so much fun. Okay. So what happens for me when I go into the field of the records is I, I get a little woozy. <laughs> it gets a little, I feel like I'm definitely in an altered, uh, an altered dimension. And I, I don't remember what was being said. So that's just the way that it is. But uh, Vanessa, thank you so much for that. I pray that it was exactly what you needed. Um, all right. So it says that it's adding Carol. All right, let's see. This is really fun. I like doing this. Very, very fun. Okay, it says adding. Carol, I think you have to push accept to be able to come online with me. Are you able to do that? Hmm. Mm. For some reason, you're not adding in. I don't know why that is. No, it says no answer. Um, I know, it is a lot of fun, isn't it? All right, Matanya, will you try and add yourself in? Um, make, make the request to join me. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is Monday, I'm gonna do psychic surgery. Wednesdays, I'm gonna do some clearing the Claire work. And on Fridays, I'm going to do Akashic readings, and I'm going to come in at 1 o'clock. I don't have that live button to join you, but maybe you can invite me. Yeah, it, it doesn't give me... Um, wait, let's see. It doesn't... Matanya, unfortunately, it doesn't give me... Um, it doesn't give me the option to invite you, baby. I don't know how to do that. Uh, the only person that's there is Vanessa, and I already read her. Um, all right, so listen, we'll figure out another way. So Carol and Matanya, I owe you guys readings. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, for some reason you're not showing up. I don't know why that is. But um, mm, yeah, they're telling me that's it for today. Uh, I had to go on my phone. Oh, she had to do it from her phone. Okay. Anyway, um, so more to come. I teach people how to read the Akashic Records. I, if this is anything that you ever want to learn how to do, you should definitely let me know. Um, I teach so many other psychic healing tools. They're my favorite thing to do. Oh, here we go. Okay, now I can bring Matanya on. I'm going to bring her on. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, wait. It says, uh, send invite. It says, can't bring Matanya Lennings on camera. They can't join you on the broadcast at this time. Oh, why not? Invite Matanya to join. You sent a custom audience. Only visit pe people in the audience you selected. Ugh. I don't know why this isn't working. I'm so sorry. Allow your guest to join you as a guest. I don't know why it's wor not working, ladies. Um, but you know what? I promise Matanya that I'll do a reading for you. I'd love to do that for you, baby. And um, Carol, I'll do the same for you. For some reason, I can't bring you guys online, and I don't know why that is. Anyway, we're having technical difficulties, so we'll try again. All right, I love you all. I'm going to go. Mwah. Sorry this didn't work out, but we'll try again. We'll try again next week. Um, but Matanya and Carol, I will reach out to you guys privately, and, uh, and we'll do it that way. All right, I love you all. I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you for being here.
Much love, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.